Hey everybody, in this video we're going to show you where to find 40 Oleander Sage here in Red Dead Redemption 2, so let's jump into it. So we're going to start off on the far eastern side of the map, just southwest of the Van Horn Trading Post. And you guys can see our red marker is going to be found on the right side of the Kamasa River, right here on your map. Now once you make your way over here, you're going to spot a couple rocks that are here near the river. We're going to work our way down, you're going to find your first one right over here, so we can go ahead and pick that one up. The second one's going to be a little bit closer to the river, right over here by this plant. And then the third one's going to be hidden over in these bushes. So this one's a little harder to see, so you may need to use uh, your eagle eye to spot them all. But this is going to be your first three. Our second location is going to be a little bit further south down the Kamasa River. As we zoom all the way in, you'll be able to see once again the red marker here on our map. I'll show you exactly where to go. But once you make your way down here, you're going to see a couple trees over by the river. And right over here in the shadows, you'll be able to find three more plants. You can pick up these, and these will be numbers four through six. Location number three is going to be found pretty close by to our last location. However, this one is going to be on the other side of the river. So on the western side of the Kamasa River, right around where you can see our red marker here, we'll give you a second. And once you make your way down here, it's a pretty open area right by the riverside. But right over here, you'll be able to find another three plants in a triangle. So you can pick up these, and these will be numbers seven through nine. Location number four is going to be on the western side of the river as well. This one's going to be just south of the bridge that you can use to cross the river. So you can see we actually have a couple buildings that are down here as well. But once you make your way down here, you'll see this cool looking tree and the bridge there in front of us. And right next to this tree is going to be your next three plants. So you can pick these for numbers 10 through 12. Location number five is really close by to our last location. This one's just going to be on the other side of the river, on the other side of the bridge. So you can see we're actually going to be right here next to the main path. When you get here, you can see the bridge here in front of us. And right here on the left side, you're going to be able to find another two. So you can grab these for numbers 13 and 14. Location number six is going to be on the eastern side of the river as well. This one's going to be a little bit further south from where the bridge is, right next to that dotted line on your map. And once you make your way down here, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to find your first two right over here next to this big bush by the water. So you can grab these two. And once you do, you then want to turn around. And in all of these bushes here, there's going to be two more that are hidden inside. So I highly recommend using eagle eyes so you can spot them. But right here, there's going to be another two. So you'll be able to get four in total and numbers 15 through 18. The next spot we're going to head to is just north of the letter T in Blue Water Marsh. As we zoom all the way in, you can see there's a little peninsula of water here. We're going to be just north of that where the red marker is. When you get out here, it'll be pretty easy to spot. There's not a lot going on here. You'll have three that are in a little triangle right here you can pick up. And once you grab these, if you run over here behind these bushes, again in the open right here, we're going to find another two. So we can grab all five of these, and these will be numbers 19 through 23. Location number eight is going to be found just northeast of the W that you can see in Blue Water Marsh on your map. It's going to be really close by to the water as well as the legendary hog that's out here. But here's our red marker. When you get over here, you'll see this giant tree stump. And right across from that is going to be your next three plants all in a line. So you can grab these three for numbers 24 through 26. Location number nine is going to be just north of the W in Blue Water Marsh, right in the middle of the water. There's a small little island here, and we're going to be right in the middle of that island. So when you get out here, there's going to be alligators nearby, so do be careful. But you're going to have two plants right here in the middle. So you can grab these two for numbers 27 and 28. Our next location is going to be just north of the letter U in Blue Water Marsh on the northern side of the river, right around where you can see our red marker here. Make your way to this location, and once you get out here, you'll see a little cluster of trees on our left here. Uh, our two plants are going to be right in front of those, so you can go ahead and pick up these two for numbers 29 and 30. Location number 11 is found really close by to our last location. This one is right on the letter U in Blue Water Marsh, so just south of the river from our last spot. You can also see there's a little shack on your map here really close by. There's the shack there in front of us, and right here in the open is going to be where you're able to find your next two plants. So you can pick up these two for numbers 31 and 32. Location number 12 is going to be found just west of the letter M in Blue Water Marsh. You can see we're going to be right here on this little plot of land where the red marker is. Once you get over here, you can see we'll have a couple trees nearby and right in the middle. 
where we will find our next two. So we can grab these two for numbers 33 and 34. Location number 13 is going to be found on the western side of the Blue Water Marsh. As we zoom all the way in here, you guys will see we're going to be right next to the main path right where this marker is. It's a little tricky to spot these as there's a lot of moss covered trees over here. So you may need to use eagle eye to spot them. But right over here in the shadows behind the moss covered trees, you'll be able to find your next two, which are numbers 35 and 36. Location number 14 is going to be found just south of the letter A and R that you see in Marsh on your map here. And there's actually a small little looking peninsula that goes into the water right here where our marker is. Right there is where you're going to find our next couple. There's nothing out here, so it'll be easy to spot. But right here is where you'll be able to find your next two, which are numbers 37 and 38. Our 15th and final location is going to be on the southern side of the Blue Water Marsh, just southwest of where you see Lagris on your map, and right around where the legendary alligator is located. But once you make your way over here, you're going to see there's a little bush area in the middle of this grassy spot. And right over here by this giant bush is going to be your final two plants. You can grab these for numbers 39 and 40. But this is where to find 40 Oleander Sage here in Red Dead 2. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.